What's good? I told you we was going to come back with another video after the live stream. Shout out to all the brothers that was on the live stream with us today. We were talking about Terrence Bud Crawford having no personality, being bland, and Earl Spence performance enhancing drug rumors and stuff of that nature. We're going to double back with another live stream around 8.30 Eastern Standard Time or sometime tonight. It's going to be off topic, off boxing topic, but breaking news coming through. Showtime have secured the bag alert, secured the rights to Tyson Fury and Suffer Safari. Hopefully, I got it right in Tyson Fury's comeback fight. Also, they will be showing Terry Flanagan going for a second uh, title in, second, in the two weight classes. Um, fighting Maurice Hooker from the 214. Shout out to Dallas, Texas, one time for the one time. He's an American guy trying to go over there and upset Terry Flanagan. Um, in a prediction, live prediction video we did last night, earlier this morning, I picked Flanagan to win, but hopefully, Hooker gets the job done. But Showtime is picking, picking this fight up. And later in the night, they got, uh, you know, Leo Santa Cruz and Abner Mares too. You know, Jamel Charlo taking on Austin Trout. And also, not only just that, I believe Adrian Gonzalez is taking on Javier Fortuna. It's listed on Ring TV or Ring Magazine as being on that card as well. And the same night on the ESPN Plus app, where all the great pound-for-pound -pound champions fight at, you got Terrence Bud Crawford taking on Jeff Miso Horny. Jeff Horn for Horn's WBO title. So it's a super jam-packed uh, night for boxing. I just wanted to let you guys know that Tyson Fury return bout is on and popping for American television, uh, you know, American viewers. You ain't got to go to Mob Draw or Terrium to try to get Box Nation or BT Sports, I believe it is, to watch it. Get it right on Showtime and they're probably streaming on YouTube as well, too. So if you want to go, you get it that way. And by them picking up the rights to this fight... This could be Showtime trying to secure an American deal with Tyson Fury or trying to woo Tyson Fury to come and fight Deontay Wilder on Showtime since they can't get Anthony Joshua. Steven Espinosa and Al Hammond are two smart businessmen. They want to be two steps ahead. And if, you know, Joshua, you know, Eddie Hearn, you know, can't make a fight with Frank Warren and Tyson Fury, which is known to be um, a real stubborn relationship between Frank and Eddie, I think Steven Espinosa is looking at like, you know what, well, we can stream Tyson Fury fight. You know, we can just follow his comeback fights. And then, you know, we can potentially put Wilder and Fury in, in, in the ring if we can't get Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua in the ring. So I think I think he's thinking, you know, he's looking to the future. He's thinking two steps above. And that's what uh, Steven Espinosa wants to do. You know, he wants the biggest fights for his network. So, you know, so this could be um, planning ahead and trying to make a Fury and Wilder fight. And and just knowing that Frank and Eddie don't get along, you know, why would Steven Espinosa try to get in where he fit in for his network? Since AJ, you know, want to sit T with his pinky up and go fight Pavekin cheating ass, you know, why not try to make Fury and Wilder? You know, that fight might happen before, you know, any other other trio of fights. It might happen before Fury and, and, and Anthony Joshua because Eddie and Frank apparently don't work together. But in the World Boxing Super Series Bantamway Tournament, they're supposed to be working together. So, you know, I don't know if that's going to continue to knock down, the, knock down the, uh, the, knock down the walls, and build more bridges. But um, yeah, you know, so they looking to probably make Fury and Wilder, and it'll just be interesting for the American television, the American, uh, at, uh, excuse me, the American audience see Tyson Fury come back versus a nobody, a thirty nine year old old bum, and most people say that was a cruiserweight, and you know he's a Switzerland based fighter. I think he's only one or two fight, one of two fighters out of Albania. That's born from there, fighting. So we'll see, man. And also, uh, Maurice Hooker and Terry Flanagan, stylistically wise, that might be a solid action-packed fight. Uh, neither one of them got great special effects, but we know some of the mid-level and uh, bottom-level fighters produce some of the best fights. Gotti and Ward. I mean, we see a lot of good um, fights on PBC when it first started with an undercard, like Hot Rod versus Marcus Brown, with some of the best fights you will see. So. I um, just want to let everybody know this news that's coming through here, and uh, we're gonna double back with our with our new installment. Um, who got next? Talking about a rising prospect in boxing that we all might not have heard of. So I'm gonna start probably trying to do that every now and again. And um, you know, CBC and more, we working, we grinding. And a uh, shout out to all the brothers, you know, who are doing videos and all the sisters doing videos as well, and keeping this boxing thing relevant. Like I said, we're gonna come back with one more video in the live stream a little bit later in the day. Or later in the night, it's the boxing clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. It's one time for the one time. We gone.